Yep, new extender. I can get up there a long way. We threw back to the heck out of this because there is a black dog here. And figure that out. <laughs> just every now and then I'll find a spot where it likes to lay and all of a sudden we just peel out a hairball, cough up a hairball. Long extension. Let me show you how to clean that up in a little bit too. Here we popped up the hairball. That awesome is going to show you these things back and get the hair out of there. And back and home. All right, put it back on its cover. Nice going. Good. All right, I'll come to you. Perfect. Start tearing this thing apart. Austin's going to dive into it to uh, get it going. So show him the little center pin there. Center pin. Just like that. Center pin. Push her in. Pull those out. Boom. That's how you get on and off your trays and stuff. He's going to do it on both sides. So you can get access, easy access to these. Go ahead. Show them these pins. Pins on both sides. Once, move your finger a second. Push it back out. There you go. Push her through. So, pull them out of there. And you got to coax them. There's one. There's your brushes. You see the garbage and stuff that can get up in there. See where you want to get it out along these edges and stuff here. All right. So now we're going to just take and put this stuff together. We're going to get some hot water going here. So some hot, hot water. Give me a minute. Put a plug in here and away we go. All right, we're getting some hot, hot water. We're going to get that plug in there. The stuff going. We're going to put a scoop or two of all of that in there. Austin's getting some stuff. He's already over here spraying some Butler multi-surface cleaner, cleaning that out, cleaning out inside around these bearings in here. All right, while we're doing that, let's go pause. Let's go take care of that over at the sink. Good. All right, he's going to throw a couple booster here this is a powdered peroxide just helps brighten doing some stuff go ahead and toss her in there get her into the hot water put her under the water water to start going Ooh, boiling boiling bubble all right let's throw in a couple scoops of sager sass and get that going too throw a couple in there we might mix it up a little bit the sauce, the sauce. toss her in there heck that's probably good that'll work out all right so then we're going to stir that around and and then we're going to toss our brushes in there. All right, chuck them in there. Just getting them going. We're going to fill them up to the top, let it. We're going to let them soak for about 15, 20 minutes, somewhere in the air. You can let them soak overnight, get the garbage and junk off, loosen it up and rinse it off. He's going to keep working. See, we're multitasking with the multi-surface cleaner. So you want to get the debris and junk out of here as much as you can. So as you're soaking these through, you're just doing that. You're flooding it out. You want to get that garbage junk. The hair that we're pulling out, the hair builds up around those and pushes, pushes those uh, bearings in. And they're a sealed bearing, but we just kind of clean those up best we can and rock and roll. Wiping off those uh, protectors. Just spray them down, wipe them down, keep them cleaned up. Then we're going to take some WD-40. I'm going to take and spray in here. Just to kind of help coat in there. We'll wipe some of that off a little bit too. So, actually just even a spray coating sometimes in there. Kind of helps. He'll just wipe it. Away we go. 
Yeah, you just put a coating of WD on that to help protect a little bit. All right, you finished cleaning that up. We're going to grab these brushes here out of the sink. So get these brushes out, drain them out. They hold a little bit. Of course, another way is to pull the sink plug. That's why I got them on chains. We'll drain them down. We'll put them together. All right, you just sprayed some more multi-spray on it. We're just cleaning that up, getting that all nice and shiny clean dryer down and we're gonna take and put some of this good good stuff on it trim shine thank you Mikey P that we're gonna spray on it go ahead spray her down it's just like spraying spray paint spray paint it's awesome makes them look like new all the time you don't even have to do that either Austin just move it around but a lot of times you got more time we're a little more hurry that's all you do spray it on leave it and it's done. It dries and it looks beauteous. Okay, Austin's got the pin here for holding them in, but there is a little ball bearing nub down there. Show them what we do, Austin. Yeah, we're spraying it, but the whole thing. Spray the whole rod. We just spray that whole rod to get WD-40 on it. All right, let's start putting her back together. Starting on the lower one, you can start either way. You just got to make sure you get it squared in. It takes a little time. It's going to be that simple. You're going to get that lucky and get on the end that quick. No. no, it never happens like that. So you just got to line it up, line it up on that end so it kind of comes through. And boom, you're in position. Okay. So <laughs> he's going to get up close and personal. See, he's got that through. He's going to do that one there again, too. And usually we'll have a rag on the floor today. We're just in a hurry. Hurry for all of you. Boom. In place, he's going to go again. First hey, shot. first shot. Is that? Give me the home run. Home run in the air. All right, let's put those side things back on. Remember, the wheels go on the opposite side. Ah, you almost did it. Flat plate just like that. Boom, in position. Here you go. Yeah, he's going to just spin her nice and simple and easy. Going to wipe it off and... Might as well do some of that. Yeah, do a little wipe off and we'll put the other one on and boom time down and away we go. Rock it out. Look at that. Final detail. Clip in position. Home run. Give me the high five. Yes. So there it is, boys and girls. The 10 inch with the 9 inch addition to the handle. Down to there, all put together, ready to go. And you're going to have years and years. We've got a couple that are over 8 years old still working for us and we abuse them.